Hey everyone, welcome back to VB A to Z. Uh, in this video series, we're gonna you know explore various ways of uh, using VBA to connect to the SharePoint server, you know, manipulate the data, retrieve the data, and you know there are so many ways uh, you can uh, work around with the data in the SharePoint. Uh, since SharePoint is used uh, widely for data collection and collaboration, I'm sure that this uh, particular you know, video series will help you in automating your uh, task uh, from uh, from the data updation to uh, creation of reports, retrieving the data, uh, updating bulk data back to the server, and so on. Uh, I put in a uh, you know a few points together that we'll be covering, right? So these are our uh, agendas. Uh, so in the first part uh, of the video, we're gonna create a custom list. I'm going to briefly walk you through how to create a list which is like a very um, very easy uh, anyone can do this and then um, I'm going to create this table basically and then we're going to identify how you can get the GUID basically an identifier for the data sets and then uh, we're going to use those uh, connection strings to use BBA to reach out to that particular table that you've created and then um, uh, we're gonna see how we can uh, link uh, or you know export or you know uh, sync the data from um, SharePoint in read-only mode uh, and then in edit mode as well. Okay, and then um, we'll explore ways to write back to the SharePoint list uh, from Excel and then from Access as well. Okay, and then in the next uh, we're gonna go into a little bit advanced mode if you are um, if you've been using BB or coding for a while, you'll find that ADO method is uh, pretty, um, very, you know, uh, easy to catch up and it's all organized. So I'm sure that uh, you'll do it very well. So I'm gonna tell you in a very plain uh, and a simple language and I'm sure you'll be able to, you know, connect to this SharePoint server uh, using ADO uh, scripting method and then uh, uh, using ADO, you'll be able to retrieve the data into your spreadsheet or into your Access database, or you can even use this in other uh, Office applications as well. But in this series, we're going to use um, Excel widely, uh, mostly, and then um, we'll I'll be telling you how you can add the data from you know from your spreadsheet from your phone into the SharePoint, or you can also you know, make changes to the data in the SharePoint server. And then I'll also tell you how you can go ahead and delete uh, the data from the SharePoint. And then um, in the end, I'll be uh, you can uh, I'll make this uh, uh, reference available for you so that you can you know go ahead and uh, do this on your own, or read do more reading, and uh, you can play more as well from the Dev Center. Um, okay, so. Uh, that's all in this uh, agenda and then uh, let's go ahead and try to create a custom list um, uh, for our uh, future videos so um, first of all I'm just gonna go ahead and just close this uh, slide and I'll go to SharePoint to my SharePoint homepage okay so first of all um, uh, to create the list there are various ways to do it okay but for now you can go to your uh, SharePoint and then from there you can go to your main SharePoint, sub SharePoint, any any of the site you want to and then you can create a list to follow along or uh, you can um, directly you know uh, just uh, keep watching and then you'll be able to follow most of them uh, please don't forget to comment or um, ask any questions if you have any doubt okay all right so let's go ahead and create a list so I'm gonna go ahead and click on list to see all the lists that are available these are all the lists available um, you can use BBA as well uh, programmatically you can create a list uh, in a runtime as well but in this first video we're gonna do it manually so that you get a hang of how you can create a list so I'm gonna click uh, click on create and then uh, we'll choose uh, the template um, that will be custom list it's a little bit slow not sure why let's give it a moment all right there it is so let's go ahead and select the custom list 
and then we're gonna call this uh, list as um, SP list no let's call this actually I'm gonna put in this data there okay so we're gonna call this um, financial data something like that table okay TV and uh, if you want to put more description then you can you know go ahead and do that if you want to display this in quick launch you select yes uh, it will you know show up here if you click on yes so I don't want to you know I want it to be you know as default I'll just click on create All right just give it a moment so your list is created but it has just one field called title if you try to you know uh, input an item it just has uh, one field called title okay so we need to create more fields for this uh, thing so I'm just gonna um, transpose this data so that we can copy and paste it there and then we'll try to create this data so first thing we need to add there is division so if we look here all these are uh, text data till here and then uh, the fields called budget and actuals uh, that will be the number field okay so first I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create uh, a field called division so instead of uh, doing it from here I'll just go to the list settings and then I'll just try to rename this title to division because we don't need any title field and then I'll say that uh, required information required that this column contains information I'll just make it to no I'll just and make sure that none of the fields are mandatory just for now since we'll be working from um, from uh, BBA later on and now I'll click on create column so our first column is done next is department just type in here these are all the options of uh, I'll just quickly walk you through this uh, data types so it's uh, you know self-explanatory if you want a single line of text multiple line of text so when you have a form you know with uh, multiple line of text uh, if you want then you can do that but um, since we'll be working you know trying to send data from the backend I uh, personally just uh, use single line of text a lot then if you choose if you want to have a choice like you can input a choice here after you select you can put in the choice here like this but um, department will be single line of text so if you want number currency date and time and then uh, if you want to look up to another list or uh, data sets and then you have like a checkbox and then a personal group that will be a um, list of people integrated or like employees integrated uh, in the um, SharePoint server and then uh, you have hyperlink picture calculated field and then external data um, manage metadata so we'll just use single line of text in this um, for this um, you know uh, field all right so let's continue to do uh, keep on adding this um, create column single line of text no no and okay so let's continue for all the fields where is it single line of text month can be date as well but then for this uh, example we're just gonna use single line of text try to make it less uh, as much as possible less complicated and then this one will be number and then if you look at the format it uh, it can um, you know take the, uh, the integer uh, the number without the decimal as well as uh, with the decimal right so if you want to use another like the currency you have another choice for now we'll just use that number and then the last one will be actual and then we'll choose number and click on ok so our list is done uh, this is our table fin data tb so basically this in you know technically speaking this is called list sharepoint list uh, but uh, this basically means uh, this is a SharePoint table uh, in a most layman term. So this is our um, 
list it's ready now you can start inputting the data uh, just put in some dummy data division I'll just call it um, div I'll just put in some dummy data and then category and then item x month and then some number and save it so you can see that uh, one line of data is added to this uh, particular list now so this is how you can create a list and then uh, you can um, you know share this particular form uh, to users to input the data okay uh, I think you can take this list as well directly and um, not sh uh, you can try it out uh, right the form is here so uh, you can collect the data using this so this is a list we'll be working on with BBA later on uh, in this video so uh, if you have to export the data from here uh, we'll be covering this later, but uh, you can go here to list and then you can click on export to Excel and Then you can open this in MS uh, Access database as well, but uh, this particular um, thing that you'll have uh, Is uh, Gonna be in read-only mode, so if you um, If you want to write it back using your Excel, you'll have to use BBA only for that. So if I try to change some numbers here and uh, I go to tables and then I see the option here. So I don't see any option to synchronize it back. Okay. So um, in our next uh, video, we're going to, you know, go and see how um, we can explore uh, the, you know, the GUID topic is um, getting the GUID okay so basically this is an identifier for your list or a view uh, that you have here so right now this is this is the view that you have right now all items okay and then let's uh, create one more view and then I'll just call this um, sorry just give me one second create view and then we'll create a standard view and then I'm gonna call this as uh, LT and then uh, this is gonna be a public view and then I'll just put in a criteria uh, okay filter and then I'll say if the column called category is equal to uh, category if you know I'm just putting a filter if the field uh, you know contains CATG only then just show the item otherwise not okay and then um, that's it let's just click on OK so if I add another item here I'll just, just plug in any information you know just to save us some time Alright, so it didn't show up here because that particular category, you know, information that we entered is not CATG. So if I go here and select all items, it's going to give me, you know, all the information. Since we have put in, a, you know, a filter to this uh, particular uh, text, it didn't return the whole information in the view called LP. Okay, now um, we're going to, you know, try to you know uh, I'll tell you a way to find out the GUID which you'll be using as a connection string later on so uh, the easiest way to do for all items is go to your settings to your list settings and then click on advanced options okay just click here and then just, just go here and just click on cancel uh, sorry just go here and click on allow content management and just click on OK so as soon as you click on OK, you'll see that list is equal to, and then you see this curly bracket. So this is the GUID for this particular all items view. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this here in the notepad. So this is the whole URL. Is this, and then uh, you have uh, 
the view identifier this is the one now I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna select uh, LP okay now we're gonna export this to Excel just to get the ID for this the GUID for this now I'm gonna click on export to Excel open it okay just click, I'll just open a new workbook so when you have uh, exported this if you go to your data tab in Excel and connections you'll see there is a connection uh, which is uh, linking this Excel to the SharePoint so click on properties and then when you go to definition you'll be able to see the list ID and then the uh, the view ID as well so I'll just copy this I'll bring it back to this notepad so if you look here the view ID is this this is actually a simpler way of um, finding the the GUID okay and then you have um, here the list name and then the list ID as well here so this is how you'll find out the the GUID and uh, um, you know the SharePoint site name like this is the name of my SharePoint site and then these are additional you know uh, the edit strings that is auto generated so just to give you a little bit uh, on what we do when we what are we trying to do uh, for example later on when we have to sync the data we have to put the list ID here for instance or uh, if you are doing it by object method we have to put in the uh, the view ID or the list ID here so which will help you uh, help uh, the Excel to connect uh, the SharePoint server so that is why we are trying to find this out now so this is all for now in this video uh, in our next video we're gonna talk about um, uh, how to link uh, using VBA we can uh, how we can link to SharePoint server uh, through our Excel and then uh, you know write back the information to our uh, uh, our table called uh, finance uh, data table TV right okay so uh, just uh, tune in back uh, for our next video thank you so much for watching bye, -bye.